Why didn't you just order your own fries? Because I didn't want fries. Then why are you eating my fries? I just took a few. You've eaten half the plate. You can't share fries with your boyfriend? This is not about the fries. This is about you. You lied when you said you didn't want any, then you ate mine, and now I'm the bad guy? Cece, you're acting crazy. Oh, you want fries? Here, have all of them. The next day, we broke up after three years together. And you know the worst part about dating your best friend? When it's all over, you lose your best friend too. But don't worry about me, guys. I took the breakup <laughs> like a champ. Anyway, I took up the modeling offer and moved to Manhattan right after high school. My parents were very disappointed at my career choices. Surprise, surprise. But I needed to get away from this place, and I just hadn't gone back since. But now, I had just received an invite to a high school reunion. Maybe it was a good excuse to go home. And Danny had moved away. Not that it mattered. Yeah, what could go wrong? Oh, Cece, you dumb, silly duck. I didn't realize I'd missed my parents so much hey. till I saw them. Even they seemed kind of happy. Cecilia, what's the matter? Has the dirty city air destroyed your corneas? No, Mom. Something just went into my eye. I asked the chef to make your favorite dessert. A strawberry tart. That's your favorite, Dad. I'm allergic to strawberries, but I appreciate the thought. And man, oh man, did I appreciate my bed. Why had I left this life again? Hard to recall the moment. I was having a great time at the reunion with my old friends when I spotted a stunning brunette in a red dress. You know, the kind of dress that only a very confident girl can pull off and you instantly feel imperfect in every way just by looking at her? Hey, that girl wasn't in our batch, right? Cece, that's Regina. What? No. I remember Regina. Duh. She had braces, thick glasses, and she was cute but kind of fat. You know, like plump. Yep. Same Regina. She got a major glow up. Also, there's something you should know. Just then, a tall guy in a suit walked up to Regina and kissed her. Danny? Oh my god. I'm not ready for this. I gotta go before he sees me. But as I turned, I tripped over my own feet and crashed into a photo booth. Caption for next Insta post. How to be a complete moron in front of your ex and his gorgeous girlfriend. Why do our meetings always start with you on the floor? Don't stare at my butt, you pervert. What? I, I swear I wasn't. Ugh. Get up, you weirdo. Gosh, he was even cuter than I remembered. You didn't even go to our high school, man. Why are you here? I'm here with, um, Regina. Cece, you look gorgeous as ever. Mwah. Always the most popular girl in school? You, you look great too. Thanks, babe. Listen, I wouldn't have invited Danny if I knew you were coming, given your history. This must be awkward. Oh, please. That was a million years ago. I've dated like 400 boys since then. <laughs> it's all cool. We're cool. Except watching them together was setting my insides on fire. Listen, guys, I'm not unreasonable. Of course I didn't think Danny would stay single forever, even though it would have been great if he did till I got married and had my first child. Whatever. I can't control that. But why her? She's she's prettier than me. He wasn't supposed to upgrade. Animator, show me the ugliest shot you got of her. No, not this one. She still looks too pretty. Not this either. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, animator, you failed. Can someone else volunteer? Yes. The music guy. Love your music, by the way. Oh yeah, this picture. Look. Look at her face. It's made according to Da Vinci's golden ratio, man. And that dark hair. That swan-like neck. Her perfect skin. And those long, long legs. And no, I'm not gay. I mean, I don't think so. But if I was, she'd totally be my type. Cecilia, who are you talking to? And I heard gay. Are you gay? Not that we're not open-minded people. But, uh, no grandchildren then? Not right now, guys! I went down a social media rabbit hole stalking Regina and Danny. I wanted to be happy for him, really. But he didn't seem like himself anymore. He was always dressed in fancy suits and hanging out with fake-looking rich people like he was trying too hard to fit in. But it wasn't any of my business. He'd moved on, and so had I. Till I found out my parents were hosting a Christmas party and Regina's parents were invited so she and Danny would be coming too. Ugh. I needed a distraction so I decided to work on a new blog post. How to get a date over the holidays so you're not the only single loser at Christmas. Okay lovely followers and of course everyone watching this video. Here are some of Cece's tried and tested tips. Number one. Walk up to a guy in a grocery store and compliment his ugly sweater that his mom obviously knit for him. Got